What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today is a very special episode. Not only because we're in the new studio, but I have the best projector that I have ever reviewed on the channel, hands down. So that's a grand introduction. That's one hell of a way to come back, if you ask me. So as you guys know, I've reviewed a lot of budget projectors lately, 720p models. I reviewed a couple 1080p models. However, there's one out there that I think probably went under most people's radars. These guys were quietly waiting in the shadows for their moment to strike creating this beast of a monster. This is the LG Pro Beam. Now this thing has tons of awesome features and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it in today's video. We're gonna put it up on the big screen and we're gonna take a look at everything that this can do right after this quick introduction. My name is Casey Nolan, let's go. All right, so this is the projector that you get in the box. This is the Pro Beam by LG, and this is the HF80JA model. You can see the lens right here looks really nice on the front. You have this focus dial up on the top here. You have a little power button, and this power button can be used as a navigation device too if you need to go up, down, left, right in the menu, and you're not using the remote. However, this remote controller comes in handy big time. It has a mouse in it and a gyroscope. So like basically you push this button, a mouse appears on the on the screen and wherever you aim it, the pointer goes. Now when you first power this on, it brings you to like a live TV section. So they do expect you to watch cable TV through this projector, which is really nice because it comes out really clear. You have a landline, you have a uh, audio, optical, you have two USB inputs, which is nice because you could plug in a thumb drive, watch MP4s, play MP3s through it, movies, whatever, and you have two HDMI inputs, and then you have your DC in right here. Over here on the top, you have a little zoom adjuster. Now that can blow the screen up or make it smaller. Uh, it, it doesn't really make a big difference. You can actually do that through the settings of this projector. Now, some of the specs on this thing, this can get up to 150 inches. I love this thing, even though it has built-in speakers. The speakers are not the best. The best way to watch this is to use the Bluetooth capabilities. I have it connected to a Bluetooth speaker in the living room, and the playback with the Bluetooth and the projector is just incredible. It gives me that real movie theater depth kind of feeling. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just put this up on the big screen and take a look at it right now. And I'll give you guys a walkthrough of the setup, the menus, and let you see the clarity of the picture. All right, guys, so to start things out, I just wanted to show you the settings. Over here on the left, you got a bunch of different stuff, picture, sound, channel, network. This is where I went to connect my Wi-Fi. And now that it's hooked up, I can browse through the LG Connect apps. I'll show you that in a moment. If I push the home button, this is what pops up down at the bottom. You get this menu, bunch of different cool stuff, voodoo, live TV. Now, if you notice there's a mouse pointer moving around, that's actually the remote controller that comes with the projector, which is an awesome feature. So you just aim the remote at the screen and you can move this mouse around. You also have uh, screen share, so you could share Android or other Apple devices. Now, if I go over here to the LG content, since I did connect to the Wi-Fi, I'd have to agree to the little user agreements and terms, and then boom, I'm brought into their LG apps. So this is where you can browse through movies, games, stuff like that. Now, back here in the settings again, this is the edge adjustment, which is really cool because if you have your projector maybe to the left of the room like mine is, mine is not centered up with the screen but I can go ahead and adjust each corner individually so that the image is still matched up perfectly with my screen. Now, once I finish that, there's a couple more apps that you can play with in the picture mode. You can change that to standard cinema sports. I found that it's the best on sports. I feel like that really makes the contrast pop. You can also adjust the contrast, brightness, everything individually, and you can set it up to customize for you, which is nice. Just a few features I wanted to run through to show you guys what you can adjust here. You got your black level, power savings mode, stuff like that. Now, I went ahead and threw on a game. This is Titanfall 2. I've been playing the hell out of this thing, and I really like this game a lot. Look at the graphics. This is 120 inches, my whole living room wall. At this point, I wanted to go ahead and throw up a couple movies for you guys to see. This is an animated movie. I believe this is Aliens in the Attic. Uh, something like that, aliens invading the planet, crazy stuff going on. However, you could see the animated graphics look awesome. Check that out. Completely high def. This thing is native 1080p. It does support 4K playback. However, it is not native 4K. 
Now you get about 20,000 hours of lamp life with this thing, so you can use this for at least three, four years, probably regular use. You won't have to change the bulb or worry about it dying out. And this has 2,000 to one contrast ratio. It looks very, very nice on the screen. You could see the darks, you could see the brights. Everything looks so crystal clear. I could not be happier with this projector. Here's a little size scale so you could see the 120 inches up on the wall. Very, very large image, but also very clear. I went ahead and turned the light on behind my projector screen. By the way, I have a silver ticket projector screen, which is incredible. I love that thing. It has a nice black frame around it, and it looks amazing when you throw an LED light strip behind it. Just a FYI tip of advice. All right, so there you guys have it. That is the LG Pro B. This is an incredible 1080p model, 2000 lumens, very bright. Even in the daytime, you can see this thing pretty clearly. But the thing about this is the features. Tons and tons of great features in this projector here. You've got the Wi-Fi, you've got the Bluetooth, you've got the live TV on the projector, you have the LG Store, you got all sorts of different apps that you can use pre-programmed in this thing. You've got the badass remote controller. This thing is really cool because when you you aim it at the screen and you push the button the mouse comes on and then wherever you basically aim this thing the mouse it's there there's like a little gyroscope in here and it makes life so much easier than having to use like the up down left right navigation arrows I'm pretty sure you guys could see how clear it was up on the 120 inch silver ticket screen that I have it looked incredible I played movies I played games there was no lag time at all in the games if you're one of those people that are at a serious point where you're thinking about getting like a really really nice projector to make your home theater top of the line this one right here is a pretty good choice i mean come on guys people are out there spending 900 dollars right now on a cell phone to put in your pocket hey the decision's yours i'm just here to show you guys what this thing is all about i'm here to let you guys see how it works for yourselves and the final opinion is on you so if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up down below it lets me know that i'm doing my job good there is a link down below in the description if you wanted to read more reviews on this thing or check out the current price it does go on sale from time to time on amazon even though we're in the new studio you know you gotta do it right anybody out there know what i'm talking about you gotta rotate I will catch you next time.